Hey, what's up guys? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this video, we're gonna talk about the new way to undo and redo in Photoshop. So Photoshop CC 2019, right? Uh, they reconfigured how they do undos and step backwards, step forward. Uh, if you like this new way versus the old way, hit me up in the poll right up there. I'm getting used to it. It's one of the shortcuts that have changed that are, uh, <laughs> that are really bugging me right now, but I'll get used to it. We'll all get used to it. Let's get into it. This is too much, too long. Let's go. All right, so previously, or not even previously, let's just talk about undo. Uh, if we go up to edit, we can see that there's an undo and a redo, and the redo actually says what we're redoing. But the undo shortcut is Command or Control Z. The redo shortcut is Shift Command Z or Shift Control Z. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about what exactly this is doing, let's open up the history states. I'm going to go to the window drop down down to history. This is the history panel. The history is like a history of all the actions that you've been making on your document. So for instance, I just have the brush tool selected. If I start making some brush strokes out here just randomly, notice how the brush tool is filling up our history panel. Essentially what undo and redo does now is it steps backward or forward. So undo, command or control Z is going to step backward through my history states, redo, shift, command or control Z is going to step forward through them. Pretty simple. Now you might ask yourself, well how many of these history states do I get? If we go up to the Photoshop preferences on a PC, it might be in a different spot, just find us the general preferences and you'll be good. We open up that panel and we go to the performance section, there's actually a little history and cache section here and, and the history states are stated right here. So we have 50 right now. We can up that to, I actually don't know how many, a thousand. Now a thousand history states on a giant Photoshop document might be a little bit too much. A hundred is a pretty good middle ground, I think, but place this wherever you want. Uh, Photoshop does give you some recommendations based on your RAM and like an ideal range for memory usage and cache sizes and all this kind of stuff but if you want more history states, this is how to do that. So that's it for this little tutorial. Undo and redo has changed in Photoshop, Photoshop CC 2019. Now if you're in an older version, Command or Control Z is just gonna undo, redo, and flip back and forth. Shift Command Z is going to step forward in history states, and I believe Option Command Z will step backwards. So that's how it used to be, they've simplified it, that's okay in my book. I think this is the way that it should be. Undo, Command or Control Z. Redo, Shift, Command or Control Z. All right, you guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.